Hello there, welcome back to my channel. It's only me again, and yep, we are out doing some more metal detecting. So today I have come into this huge stubble field, and it's a field that I've never ever been into before. Brian, on the other hand, has been in this field before, and he has found some really, really nice hammered medieval coins, as well as some coins that sort of date to the Tudor period and into the post-medieval period as well. He's also had some really nice sort of buckle fragments and coins and all these buttons and bits and bobs. So there's going to be a potential to find some really nice things in here today. Now the weather's not great. It's uh, quite cloudy. Looks like we might get a splash of rain, but um, that's not stopped us yet and it's not going to stop us today. So join me while I go out, do some metal detecting in the field. And that leads me to say, if you do like the channel and you like the videos that I upload, do consider subscribing below. It's completely free. It's not gonna take any money from your bank account, but it does mean that you'll get a notification every time a new video comes online. And of course, if you wanna help the channel out, help it grow, then do give me a thumbs up as well. That means a lot. But that's the talking out of the way. Let's get some digging done. And I will see all of you on the very first hole. So we've got our very first target down here and it's really not very far from the bag at all. And it's coming in at a really nice 85 to 86 on the VDI. And uh, yeah, I think we're definitely gonna give this one a go. So let's dig it out and see what we've got. So there we go, it's come out pretty much straight away, which means it's probably quite close to the top. So let's get the pinpointer out. Ah, here we go. Didn't really even need the pinpointer because it was just on the surface. And our very first target today in the field is a button. Oh, look at that. Now for anybody that might be wondering today, I'm actually using the Forager program on the XP Day S2. Um, I haven't made any tweaks to it at all. I've literally just turned it on, done a quick grab on the ground balance and set off in the field. So just in case anyone asks, that's the program that I'm using today. And I've just gone and found my second target of the day. And it looks to me like we've just gone and found a really, really nice little clock or watch winder. So what's really nice about this find is that it is quite decorative. Usually these are rel relatively sort of rudimental. They don't have a lot of detail on them at all. But this one is really quite nice. Now this could be from a grand old clock, um, something like that. But how it ended up in this field, I honestly have no idea. It always amazes me the things that end up in fields because they surprise you all the time. But yeah, a nice little watch winder for our second uh, target in the field. I'm not going to complain at that at all. So I'm going to pop that in the bag and we'll move on and see what other bits we can get. Okay, so we've got another target. Hey, this one looks pretty interesting actually. So this target was a super scratchy, like sort of 83, but it was jumping around between 83 and 85, and it had um, almost like a little irony undertone to it, which I thought was quite strange because I wasn't expecting anything great. But now I've just pulled this out of the ground, and that looks to me like a possible silver hammered coin. <laughs> But I could be very wrong, of course. We've obviously got to pluck it out from this mud. So the anticipation is killing me. <laughs> Let's do it and see what we've got here. Is this going to be a silver coin or is it just going to be some junk? Who knows? Oh, wow. I, I think it is a silver coin. 
it's quite a big one too. I mean, it's completely bent in half. Completely bent in half. But that to me looks like a silver coin could very possibly be a Charles I silver coin because you've got a shield there on the side. Now, unfortunately, it looks like this side is absolutely and totally gone, which means I don't think we're going to get too much detail from it. And the other side, of course, means that we've got to pick out all the mud and stuff like that. But can you believe that we've just gone and found a silver hammered coin on our third target today in this field? Now, Brian said that he was finding hammered coins in here and they were all spread around the field. And of course, we have just gone and found our very own one as well. And I am totally blown away. That is amazing. What a great start to the day. So here's a little find, which is gonna get your ticker racing. I had a odd signal, and granted this was a very different signal to the signal I had that had the hammered coin in. But curiosity got the better of me, and I did what any self-respecting metal detectorist did and dug it anyway. And I saw this just poking out of this little clod of mud. And I thought, oh my God, we have just gone and found another hammered coin but it's a ring pull. <laughs> Can you believe that? Honestly, these things literally are everywhere. And yeah, it came up at around sort of 71 to 72 to be fair. So it could have been a hammered coin, but honestly, I thought it was for a moment. And I soon realized that it was in fact, just a ring pull. Oh, well, let's carry on. So we have just gone from a scrap piece of metal to quite an interesting little lead find. Now, I think I know what this is, and it looks like a bullet. But of course, it's not a relatively modern bullet. It's actually quite an old one, and I'd say this was around the sort of Civil War era, maybe a little bit just afterwards. Now, you might have heard the expression, pump you full of lead in the films. Of course, what they're referring to there is shooting you with lead bullets. Lead bullets have always really been used with firearms um, until relatively recently when they obviously swapped out the lead for a, a more steel type of variant. And this is one of the very early style bullets that have come into existence. It's a very early lead shot and it is an absolute whopper. I would not like to have got hit by this at all. And of course, it's a double whammy, isn't it? Because you get hit by a lead shot like this, then not only have you got this going through your body, causing massive amounts of injuries, but you've also then pretty much got lead poisoning as well. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty glad they're not using these anymore, but um, also quite glad to find it because it's a really nice little nugget of history, this one, even though it's made of lead. So yeah, this is probably two, 300 years old, something like that. It's quite a nice find. Happy with that. Let's pop it in the bag, move on, see what else we can get. So a really nice little buckle fragment has just come up here. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's a buckle fragment. Anyway, it's kind of difficult to tell at this stage, but it certainly looks like a buckle, doesn't it? But is it a whole buckle or is it a fragment? Because, oh wow, look at that, look. It's actually a whole buckle. <laughs> I thought it was half of a bigger one, but it's not. It's a whole buckle. That is lush. That is so nice. This could be like a, a shoe buckle or maybe a knee buckle or something like that. It's a really, really nice little find. And the central pin is intact as well. So chances are this might date to a similar age to the um, hammered coin that we had a little bit earlier. But yeah, look at that, a really nice intact full buckle there. It's gotta be a few hundred years old, that one, for sure.
So there's a really interesting little feature just poking out of the side of this little hole here. And it looks, um, looks copper alloy. Looks like it quite be quite an interesting signal, this one. So come in and take a look. Let's see what it is. So here's the little target down here. It's just poking out of the side. Now, looks like it could possibly be another little buckle. So let's pick it out and have a look and see what we've got. Well, it's not a buckle, is it? What is that? So, it's got this kind of loop thing at the bottom here. And possibly three holes here. So it almost resembles some type of hanger. But I've never seen a hanger like this one before, that's for sure. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it could be a sword hanger or something like that. But I don't really know how old it is and I don't want to clean it up that much because I'm afraid that I'm just going to scratch off any of the nice details that might be left on here. But yeah, you can clearly see that it's got three protruding holes on the top here, this kind of nodule, and then this little loop here. So potentially, I mean, this could be medieval, but it also could be relatively modern as well. So is it a little clothes hanger? Is it a little sword hanger? Is it a horse harness decoration? Your guess is as good as mine on this one. So please leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this one. I'm not actually too sure. If I can find out, of course, I will put some information of it on the video. But please do comment and let me know what you think of this one because it's quite an interesting little find. So we've got another target down here. This isn't the best sounding target of the day. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's got a little scratch afterwards. Now, that could mean that it's just really close to the top, but chances are this means it's going to be some sort of like plate alloy or something like that. But of course, we've got to give it a dig and see what it is. So let's do that now. Okay, so it's saying that it's in this side wall. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow, that is a complete surprise. I was not expecting that to pop out of the ground. <sighs> oh wow. And it was live on camera as well. I am chuffed about that. So I think I know what this is, guys. And if it is what I think it is, and I am 99.9% .9 sure that it is, we have just gone and found a medieval heraldic horse pendant. And it's in the shape of a shield as well, which means it would have been from quite an important person's horse. And some of these have really nice designs on as well. Um, some of them have the English coat of arms. Some of them have sort of pictures of animals, um, but of course they're heraldic. So they can just have the crests and shields of whichever family member or whichever knight that they particularly rode with or belong to. But yeah, I I'm honestly so sure that we've just gone and found a heraldic pendant there and I am totally gobsmacked. I really wasn't expecting a nice find like this to come out, especially with a, cr a scratchy signal. But um, yeah, there it is, guys. I really don't want to clean this up too much, but let's give it a quick squirt of water and see if there's any detail on it whatsoever. Okay, so I have squirted it with water, but honestly, I'm not getting too much detail off of this lovely shield pendant here at all and regardless of the amount of water that I squirt on it I'm not actually going to see any of the detail until you know it has a proper clean and a proper soak and I think that's what I'm going to have to do so I'm going to get this home and I'm going to stick it in some deionized water for a good few days and um, hopefully we're going to be able to get some details off of this because Nine times out of ten, if you can get the information from this heraldic pendant, you can trace it back to whichever sort of family or whichever sort of, you know, knights or whatever were wearing it out on their uh, crusades and things. So we could get some very cool historic information from this one. And if I do, of course, I'll put it on the video for you to see. So let's hope we can clean this one up. But amazing find. Let's carry on and see what else comes out.
So we just had a really interesting little target down here. And once again, I have no idea what it is. It's made of copper alloy and uh, it's got a kind of loop on there. Now, I'm just looking at this with a, a little kind of different perspective. I've given it a squirt of water because I couldn't really see what this was at all until I'd cleaned it. And I've cleaned it and yeah, it's got this kind of loop and there's some really nice decoration around the base of it. And really interestingly is on the bottom here, there's a hole. And I don't know why, but I think that this could be something to do with like boat rigging or something like that, because um, it would make sense, wouldn't it, that this was attached, a nice decorative uh, fitting to a railing, um, maybe a bit of string passed through it or something like that. It's only a suggestion. I, I really have no idea what, what this is, but I'm hoping somebody out there might be able to help me with this one. What do you think it is? Do you think it's a little decorative piece, maybe to some furniture or a bit of boat rigging? It's uh, certainly up for debate, isn't it? But it's a nice little find, absolutely. And uh, looks like we might actually get a little bit of rain in a minute. So hopefully we don't get too wet, but let's carry on. Okay, so unfortunately that's all we've got time for today. It's about quarter to five now. The rain is really starting to come in. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, so it's probably just about the right time to get out of the field today. But what a fantastic day we've had today. Some amazing finds, some really nice historical bits as well. Um, I think the find of the day for me is probably that heraldic shield pendant. Now the hammer coin is obviously a nice find and I'll always, always accept a hammer coin on a day out metal detecting, but I do think that the heraldic pendant is a really special little piece. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get a nice picture of it and stick it on the video for you. But anyway, I'm getting soaking. Camera equipment is getting soaking. Thank you all very much for watching as always. And of course, if you wanna be notified every time a new video comes online, you know what you have to do. Just hit subscribe below, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And of course, if you like the video today, just drop me a thumbs up as well. That means a lot. I'll catch all of you guys in the comments, but again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all on the very next hole.